Hello. Um, my talk is about uh, a tool which is called Wikipedia Tags in OSM, which helps to insert uh, Wikipedia tags into OpenStreetMap about, uh, so to connect objects in uh, OpenStreetMap to the related Wikipedia article. Actually, while I was writing this presentation, I decided to put it more information about what's going on between Wikipedia and OpenStreetMap. And so another possible title for, for this uh, presentation is uh, <laughs> a little more longer, a brief, incomplete, one-sided history of what's been going on between the two biggest collaborative projects in the history of humankind. Uh, and how we can make them work together. So, I have quite a lot of things to show you. Well, ba basic, basic things is that uh, I think you all know in, in OpenStreetMap you can have a Wikipedia key that takes as value a language code and, and an article, uh, the article title. So. There's, there are two examples which can uh, connect some uh, building, which is the St. Paul, St. Paul's Cathedral, with the uh, corresponding Wikipedia article. And this is an example of how this information is used on Wikipedia. Um, this is called to, uh, this is an article about the Colosseum. Uh, uh, underground stop in Rome. This is from the Italian Wikipedia, and here on the, on the right, uh, top right of the page, it's a little bit different uh, among different language, language version, but basically in many, many language version, including English, uh, Italian, German, uh, French, Wikipedia, you have uh, this link that can show in, in some different ways, it depends on how the community has decided to display it. Uh, a a pop-up map or, or, or a, a map on the top of the article, and, and you see that uh, there are pins uh, which are the Wikipedia articles. And this map is by uh, Colossus, which is Tim, which is there. <laughs> and. Uh, Actually, this tool I'm going to present is also based from uh, another tool, which is called OSM Add Tags, uh, also by Colossus. That is, uh, I have been talking to him like yesterday. He told me that uh, uh, this tool is uh, was host hosted on the tool server, which is this this cluster with uh, many tools that are used by the. Uh, Wikipedia community uh, to add information in Wikipedia, and, and this tool basically uh, does the same thing. Uh, now he is migrating it on the Wikimedia Labs. This is new infrastructure to host the, the tools um, used by the Wikimedia project. And, but uh, in, in the Italian community, Basically, since, since uh, end, the end of last year, October, one user, um, we were start, starting discussing about interaction uh, between the OpenStreetMap community and the Wikimedia community, and a user came with uh, this, uh, this, this tool. He, was, he has written, the, uh, he said that he, he took the idea from, from uh, the Teams tool to uh, Gener to, to, and he wrote a script that generates uh, a list of categories from, uh, of Wikipedia articles, and he provides li link to add the Wikipedia tags in OpenStreetMap. And, and I will show, uh, now it's hosted on, on uh, WTOSM, which is wikipedia to openstreetmap.openstreetmap.it. And the amazing thing was that there were a huge response from the uh, Italian community uh, to this proposal of the, this user, which is uh, Groppo, Simone, uh, I, we, I don't know his real surname, but his nickname is Groppo. And uh, basically, 
basically, uh, he, the first version he proposed generated some web pages that he hosted on his Dropbox account. And, but since the community uh, really liked the project, uh, and it was announced just before the local state of the map Italy, which is called OSMIT, last year that we held in Rovereto, and since uh, the community responded really well to this, uh, some, somebody, uh, which is another OpenStreetMap user, Luca De Lucchi, um, offered to host uh, this tool on, on um, some server and not using Dropbox. So this is how this, uh, this, this tool looks. Uh, as you see, you have three tabs. One is about uh, di divided per teams. Uh, so you have uh, culture, sport, and so on. And you have a list of categories and with, with some statistics about how many articles are uh, we from Wikipedia are in those categories and how many uh, of those have um, already some uh, Wikipedia tag uh, corresponding, uh, some object in OpenStreetMap uh, which is corresponding to this article through the Wikipedia tag, and how many have uh, coordinates. And, but you can also change the view, and there is uh, the re region view. So the, here's the, the list of the Italian regions, and also a map view uh, with, the, with the leaf left. And basically, uh, you, you, can have, you can have four cases uh, which are displayed on the tool with different icons. And the, the, variable, the, the things we are looking at are two. If the, there is uh, in OpenStreetMap some object that says a Wikipedia tag that is linking some Wikipedia article, F, and if in uh, the Wikipedia articles there is a coordinate template. In the Italian Wikipedia, uh, this template is called Cord. Uh, one limitation of this tool now, as a, you have seen from the map, is working and is focused on Italy and on Italian Wikipedia. So uh, we get categories from the Italian Wikipedia and the places are, uh, we, we, they, we have chosen these categories from Wikipedia so that the places basically are all in Italy, and, and expanding this, this tool is one thing that we want to do in the future. So, if we both add a Wikipedia uh, tagged object in OpenStreetMap and uh, also coordinates in Wikipedia, everything is good. But we can miss some information. Either there is uh, an article with the coordinates, but there, there is no corresponding object in OpenStreetMap, so you see these icons that provides link either to the ID editor or to JOS, JOSM editor with the remote control to add this tag in um, OpenStreetMap. Or you can have a, an object uh, with the Wikipedia tag in OpenStreetMap, but no coordinates on Wikipedia. And what is provided is a link to, to add these coordinates in Wikipedia. And the worst case is that uh, you neither have an object in OpenStreetMap or coordinates in Wikipedia. And so this, we don't, don't know where this, this thing is located. Now I will switch to the, to the tool. As you see, um, you can pick a category, for example, archaeological sites, and, and you see there is the this view that uh, basically reconstructs the tree of, of categories from Wikipedia. So, for example, you can choose a subcategory like archaeological sites in Latium. And, for example, you have catacombs in, in Rome. And you see here, now I don't have, this is not my computer, so I don't have JOSM, but uh, if you fire up JOSM, then clicking on this icon will use JOSM remote control. Uh, otherwise, uh, okay, well, uh, ideally, uh, I would now log in and uh, the uh, ID editor would be open in the place where the, the coordinates in Wikipedia are. 
So I can look in that area if I can see the object this um, link is referring to, which is catacombs of the saints Marcellino and Pietro. And, and so I can add the uh, tag to the corresponding uh, OpenStreetMap object. So this is the case of having some coordinates in a template in Wikipedia, but not having a Wikipedia tag in OpenStreetMap. Also, these are all e links, so I can, I can see the article in Wikipedia. The other case that I told you about is this. So here we have an object in OpenStreetMap that has a tag uh, corresponding to this article. And also in this article, uh, it has coordinates on Wikipedia. So let's see. You see here, the, there is the object with the, the link. And I don't know if you, if you can, can see it, but uh, near this icon, you see if it's an order relation or, or a way. And so you see, this is the thing, Catacombe di Santa Domitilla. And this is the Wikipedia article, and it has coordinates. So uh, I don't know if, uh, OK, y you see. Uh, you see also the OpenStreetMap here. And, and so, in this case, you don't have to do anything, actually. And this other case, instead, is a, something which has uh, Wiki, an OpenStreetMap ob object that has a, a Wikipedia tag, for example, but no coordinates in Wikipedia, in, in Wikipedia. So you see here, there are no coordinates. And what th this tool provides now is uh, this not so nice pop-up, uh, which is telling you, go to JOSM, uh, get the coordinates of this place, put these coordinates in Wikipedia using this syntax. So it says, write these complicated things with uh, curly braces and, and what I, uh, I have done uh, about this is uh, using, but is, this is not in the official, like this is what you get when you go to wtosm.openstreetmap.it, and which is the official version. And there is this uh, tool, this is the feature that I've been uh, developing, which instead of having that um, nasty, that nasty pop-up uh, uses OAuth, which I hope it's, it's working. Uh, let's see, okay, yeah. Uh, and, and so instead of having uh, to cut and to, to copy and paste that, you can use the, the, the map to place the pin and you can then have a link to add automa semi-automatically, and you can now uh, use, in, use OAuth, you can log in with your Wikipedia account if you have one, and then it will present you with uh, uh, the uh, addition of uh, the coordinates to the Wikipedia page. And if you don't want to use your account, but you want to do it anonymously, there is this other link, and what it basically provides, it shows you the difference between the, the two versions, and then you have this test text that you can copy and paste in Wikipedia. You, you uh, click on this link, it opens the page in, uh, in edit mode, and then you can copy and paste this, and so you can do that anonymously if you don't want to use your account. And as you see, what is added is the coordinates template with uh, some uh, parameters and also a reference to the uh, way or node or relation ID with a backlink to OpenStreetMap. And uh, as I said, this, this is using um, OAuth. Another thing, 
And uh, now we will go back to the uh, presentation. Okay. This was were some screenshot because uh, if I didn't uh, if didn't have any connection or something was not working, I had some backup. So uh, this is one thing that I have developed and will be hopefully soon in the official version. And then one other thing is this tool, which is called Nuts for Nuts, that I presented more extensively last year which can use the beginning of the article, the abstract of the article from Wikipedia to derive the name of some municipality. And so in the case, in the, the ugly case, um, that we don't have any information, we, can, we, may, we use this tool to find at least the municipality name so that a link to the center of the municipality can be provided. And when you click, on the icon, um, you you uh, get the the JOSM or ID editor to be in the center of that municipality, and so you can look around if you find the place. And so, in these cases, you are invited to edit both Wikipedia and and uh, OpenStreetMap to to add the exact coordinates. Still, it may it the case could be that. This tool doesn't find anything, and so uh, we have still the sad, the sad face case. And all of these uh, these uh, tools are uh, free software, and uh, in particular, for example, I have been using this uh, uh, Flask module uh, to provide the uh, OAuth authentication that I showed you before. And I have made some contribution to the, uh, this uh, Flask module uh, because the one other difference between the, the, this tool and what uh, the Teams tool was that Teams tool is in PHP and, and this tool is in Python. And, and I don't know PHP <laughs> very well, and so I, I prefer to, to, to develop in, in Python. But uh, as I said, it's somewhat limited. Um, for example, um, one thing that we would like to add in the future, some more real-time up updating of, of this list that is happening once a day, then uh, it could be expanded with more, more languages, uh, as in localization and as in uh, uh, targeting other, other Wikipedias and other... Um, objects in other countries besides Italy. And then uh, there is a lot of discussion and about how to insert the geographical, some geographical references or some open street map references into Wikidata. There is also a proposed key. If, I, I, if I'm correct, it's still in the proposed, uh, proposed status, which is the uh, Wiki, Wikidata key. And my, my approach in this case was, okay, let's just add the coordinates to Wikipedia and then uh, it's the community to decide uh, whatever they are going to use uh, and in, to use these, uh, these coordinates also in, uh, in Wikidata or, or not and import them. And, and that bring, brings me to the like big question, which is the license. Uh, in the Wikipedia, in the Wikipedia world, uh, basically, uh, at least the Italian community, that, um, but but this is also my impression for other communities. There is not so much uh, discussion about where to get the coordinates. Many many people and also some guidelines uh, tell that you can uh, grab the coordinates from whatever service, including, for example, Google Maps because there is this idea that the single coordinate of a single object is not copyrightable. And, and so uh, nobody, there is a huge, huge part of people that basically don't think this is a problem. Actually, some people pointed out that could be, if you get, for example, the coordinates from uh, Google Maps, you could be infringing the ter their terms of use. And... Uh, because uh, Google Maps, for example, says that if you get the geocode some, some place uh, using Google Maps, then you have to show that data only on, on Google Maps. 
as, as, you, as you know, the ODBL and the CC by SA, which is the license of Wikipedia, are not compatible, or even worse, the uh, Wikidata is a CC0 license. And, uh, but uh, as, I, as, I, as I said, I, the process is semi-automatic. It's not completely automatic, so it's not an import of data from OpenStreetMap. And I think there is as much as possible goodwill about correctly attributing and tracing uh, the origin of that data. And I can, see, I can say that this is new. In, if, you, if you take, in general, uh, this, this fact of putting a backlink to OpenStreetMap and the reference to, to that data is, is something that has been done the first time with this tool. And before, no, nobody basically cared uh, about, uh, about this problem. So I don't know how this will develop, but I, I think that um, referencing correctly is the uh, first step. And this is a quick review, as I said, of other projects ongoing between OpenStreetMap and Wikipedia. It's incomplete. It's like what I know now. There are people also in this room, like team, like Katie, which are uh, more knowledgeable, <laughs> so please refer to, to also to them about this. Um, but um, one project is, is Wikimaps, which uh, was initially focused and, uh, on historical uh, and old maps, and, but now the term is starting to be used also for more, more in general to all the map-related projects in the Wikimedia universe. And uh, um, particularly, there, are, there is this website that you find here and a, a, a mailing list, which is called Maps L, where there is discussion about uh, integration and use of OpenStreetMap uh, to display inside the, the Wikipedia articles, for example. And then there, there are the Wikimedia Labs, uh, which is the new infrastructure to host tool provided by the Wikimedia Foundation. And this is going to supersede the tool server. As I said, um, the map you have seen in Wikipedia article, uh, the ties come from the tool server, and, but now team has ported this infrastructure to, to uh, the tool, the Wikimedia Labs. In their plan, the Wikimedia Foundation had proposed to hire two engineers to, have, uh, to, to build a high-capacity tile server to display OpenStreetMap maps in the Wikipedia articles that would generate a lot of traffic if they used the OpenStreetMap server. And, and there are also some projects to have uh, maps namespace in MediaWiki. Also, the Italian community have asked for a server that is currently used uh, by some Italian user to uh, generate map roulette challenges uh, that are sent to the main server, but these challenges are related to uh, based to uh, on Italy, and the Italian the Italian Wikimedia chapter, which is Wikimedia Italy, since January 2014 has started uh, to uh, ask the, mm, to the OpenStreetMap Foundation and also uh, to the Wikimedia Foundation that uh, to become also the local chapter of OpenStreetMap in Italy. And since the, they are already the local chapter for, of the Wikimedia Foundation. So there has been a discussion between the community of OpenStreetMap and Wikimedia Italy to provide some, some sort of infrastructure uh, for the association. So. Uh, Wikipedia tags in OSM uh, lets you add the Wikipedia tags in Open in OpenStreetMap uh, to OpenStreetMap objects and Cord template uh, does uh, allow you to to uh, insert coordinates in Wikipedia articles. There are many things to do, so any kind, any type of, of support you can provide, we are extremely happy with that. And there are many projects ongoing, so please refer to the maps, L mailing list, or to the Wikimaps website uh, for, for more news. And this is me. Uh, I'm working at the Fondazione Bruno Kessler. I am a researcher, and by the way, I'm also an open street mapper and a member of uh, Wiki, and the Wikimedia and a member of Wikimedia Italy.
Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Christian, for the interesting talk. We have time for one or two questions. Uh, hello. Hi. Hello. Have you looked at when you have coordinates on both sides, if you have uh, basically looking at the distance between the coordinates in Wikipedia and on OSM, see if you have big differences? That's That was uh, something that was also planned uh, since quite a lot, but I, I kind of forgot to put it in there. So thanks a lot for the question. Yes. One thing that could be done is uh, to check uh, if uh, the coordinates in uh, Wikipedia are uh, contained inside uh, the polygon, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if uh, the uh, object on OpenStreetMap is extended, or if uh, you have a node on the other side, you can check if they are more distant than, say, 100 meters or 50 meters. Yes. This, Yes, there's the, the idea, as I, in, uh, I, as I if, have imagined it, is like to have some sort of flag or some sort of color saying, okay, green, everything is good, uh, red, uh, you have uh, the coordinates in uh, Wikipedia which are crazy distant f uh, from the open system of object. For example, we have discovered that in Wikipedia, many meteorological stations had the coordinates, but they had a really low precision. So they were really, really distant, like uh, only two de decimal points. So they were really distant from where the actual uh, station was. Uh, you should do take... a map. You should do a map of those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this was like really specific, like, like that. Uh, uh, Consistently, all the all the uh, meteorological station has had, had this problem. Besides, very few cases where you could imagine that somebody fixed fixed it. Uh, a map roulette challenge for the top ten percent. Well, uh, actually, it, there are really a few of them. I don't have any numbers, but I think that we are in the hundreds. And uh, I can tell you that with the, the uh, map roulette challenge from Italy, we had also a big response since it's the beginning. And uh, we have been people fixing uh, like 500 challenges in a matter of a couple of hours, something like that. So uh, yeah, it's something that could be done, definitely. It's pretty new. The map roulette integration for task for challenges coming from Italy, it's pretty, but, it has but been on... Honestly, the, the problem is more, more not on, on this case, the problem is more on Wikipedia side, because it's there that the coordinates are really low prestige, not, not in, in OpenStreetMap. I, I, I had a question, actually. Okay. How, how much effort would you think it's, it's going to take to translate uh, the interface to adapt it to other Wikipedia? Honestly, more than you can expect, because um, many things are hard coded, and uh, and so it would need uh, to to have an easy interface to translate. It would need uh, to uh, convert it before to some sort of templating system for the pages, uh, and 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 then when you have a template. Uh, for the pages, it's easy to have uh, uh, the translation in other languages. So th there is this, this kind of obstacle. In, uh, in places where the language of the country is the same as the Wikipedia in the country itself? Like uh, maybe well, not in the English one, which is widespread? The point is the, the point is uh, when you have this kind of conversion, it's easy to translate in any language, basically. Hello, uh, more a statement than a question. Um, inspired by the uh, nice results of the Vivosen project, I created a plugin for Chosen, which has a similar workflow. Uh, it allows you to load a category of articles into 
a Wikipedia uh, into the list of that plugin and uh, allows you to assign uh, the Wikipedia tag of selected objects. Yeah. So this is a similar approach, but directly plugged into the uh, chosen editor. Yeah, and there was a question or just... No, it, it was okay. more like a statement, but it like it is a related... Uh, yeah, approach, if, I if, if we, I can add uh, something, yeah, yeah. Also, this in the end, this tool is very similar to Teams tool, but again, it was like uh, coming out of, of this user and it, there was a huge response from the community. So everybody was happy using it and contributing to it. And so basically, why not? Um, but uh, yeah, I didn't know about uh, the JOSM plugin. But uh, well, yeah, probably it could be it could be made also easier uh, because when you click on the JOSM link, it basically fires up JOSM around a certain area, and then you have to do all the rest manually. So you have to know where to to put to put the tag, and uh, maybe it can be made also easier. I don't know. All right, we should wrap around the remaining questions. You can. Um Ask a little question. Let's thank Christian again for the interesting talk, and we will continue with.